Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy, simple chicken and sausage gumbo full of flavor. Okay, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go over all the ingredients that we're going to need. You're going to need flour, some minced garlic, I've got an onion here that I'm going to dice up, the same with a bell pepper. We've got some chicken broth, Worcestershire sauce, and I've got a can of diced tomatoes, some butter, celery, and then for our seasonings, I've got salt and pepper, and then we've got garlic powder, paprika, thyme, bay leaves, and for a little kick, if you want it, cayenne pepper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my husband's behind the camera so I know I'm gonna be putting in a lot of cayenne pepper in this one mm -hmm. all right now for our two proteins that I'm gonna be putting into our gumbo today let me go ahead and show you those okay so I am using some chicken tenders here now you can use chicken breast or you can even use chicken thigh meat now there's no skin on them and there's no bones so this is about one and a half pounds and all I'm going to do is just cut these into bite-sized pieces. All right, let's go ahead now and chop up our sausage. Okay, what I have here are links of smoked sausage. So whatever flavor you want to use in your gumbo. I'm thinking jalapeno sausage would be really good. He's thinking that, but I'm not. <laughs> oh no. Or some really good boudin. That'd be good too. Okay guys, if you have an Instant Pot, I've made gumbo before in the Instant Pot and I have a video linked down below if you want to check that out. It was really good. It's amazing what the Instant Pot can do to dishes. Okay, so I'm cutting up some celery, which is about two stalks. I've got about three quarters of a bell pepper and then half of a white onion. Now you can put as many of each one into your gumbo as you want. Now this is called the Holy Trinity. And makes a really good flavor. So you want to dice these up fine. I think we got enough there. You could add jalapenos to that and make it a holy moly trinity. Okay guys, <laughs> just going to put jalapenos in everything. <laughs> There's your holy trinity. Let's go ahead now and start getting our big pot out and we can start making our gumbo. Okay, so in a large pot or a Dutch oven, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to medium-high heat, and then we're going to add about two tablespoons of some oil to it. What we're going to want to do is brown up our chicken and our sausage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and add my chicken. And the sausage. Now this was about one pound of sausage that I chopped up here, and then we got one and a half pounds of chicken in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper. We're gonna flavor it here. And some salt. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is brown this until the chicken is white on all sides and the, the sausage has a little brown color to it for about six minutes. Okay, so my chicken is all nice and browned on all sides and the sausage is nice and cooked. We're gonna go ahead now and remove this from our pot and just put it into a medium bowl and set aside. All right, now I've turned down my heat to a medium. I'm gonna add one stick of butter. It's gumbo, you guys. <laughs> 
We're going to melt this down slowly. We're going to add our flour, a whisk, and then just start incorporating this together, allowing the butter to melt. This is going to form the roux. Okay, we're going to stir this continuously for around 8 to 10 minutes. We're just looking for this to really be a dark color roux. It'll add a nice flavor to the gumbo. So you want to continually whisk and get the nice, deep, dark brown color that you want to look for in your roux. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're about halfway there. Now, the darker your roux that you're stirring right here, the more colorful your gumbo is going to be. So you want it really dark. So just keep stirring and get that beautiful color that we're going to be looking for. Okay, so we got a nice deep brown golden color in there on our roux. So I'm going to go ahead and add our trinity, which is our onions, bell peppers, and celery. Now we're going to saute these down and mix these up into the roux. And we're looking for these to get nice and softened. Okay, so I've added about a quarter cup of chicken stock just to kind of help it here. We're just looking for it to be softened. All right, so I've got two teaspoons of minced garlic going in. We're going to cook this down for just one minute. Okay, to this we're going to go ahead now and add six cups of chicken stock. And then we're going to add one can of diced tomatoes. Now this is a 14 ounce size, juice and all. All right, we're going to add one bay leaf. So we need to bring this to a boil as we're adding in our seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead now and put it up to a high temperature. So here's the time, it is one half teaspoon. Powder you have to dunk in twice. It's one teaspoon. Alright, we've got garlic powder. Alright, half a teaspoon oh, of so, paprika. <laughs> I'm fired. My sous chef over there is I'm fired. falling down on the job. And then we got the good stuff. Cayenne pepper is two teaspoons. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he wouldn't follow the directions on that recipe. All right, this is a teaspoon? Half? That's half. And you said one teaspoon? One teaspoon. All right. We're going to put that in there. I would put more, but it's... Well, we're going to taste this and see what we think. And then you need uh, one teaspoon of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. One teaspoon? One teaspoon. We're just going to dribble it in. That looks good. That's it, you guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stir this all up. And then what we're going to do is just kind of taste it and make sure our seasonings are where we want them. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. Now, we put that bay leaf in there, you guys. So make sure after your gumbo is done, you pull that out because you don't want anybody to eat that. No, that would definitely so don't forget you got that bay leaf in there. Okay, we have a really good delicious base for our gumbo. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in our sausage and our chicken back into here very carefully. Mmm, I can't wait for this one you guys. Pass that off to my sous chef. Sous chef slash dishwasher. <laughs> He's a really good dishwasher. How's that looking, you guys? Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring this to a boil, and then we're going to turn our heat down to like a medium-low and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Now, at this time, what you can do is start getting ready to make your rice, because you know rice goes with gumbo. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you back when this is all done and we have a nice thickness to our gumbo here.
Okay guys, look at this gumbo. Do you see how it's thickened up? It's been 45 minutes. You can see how it diminished right there, about an inch. Okay, I got my rice done. I'm gonna bowl this up for you guys. Okay, before I bowl this up, remember we talked about the bay leaf? Make sure you go in and pull that out. I'm looking for it right now. Ha, ha, ha. All right, there it is. Just toss that out. Who's ready for some gumbo, chicken and sausage? Hey guys, I'm gonna take a bite for you. I'm gonna try that bite first. Mm. You guys, this is so simple to make. It just needs a little time to pull it all together. Okay, you guys, it is such a warm broth in there. Oh, so delicious. All those seasonings and spices that went in here. Make your own. You saw how easy that was. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this are posted. Okay, guys, I will see you on my next episode.